Hello everyone, this is Moses from Zatar Gardens and uh, doing another update video on my asparagus patch. There are the 10 crowns, uh, the variety is UC 157F1 and it's October 1st today and I'm still producing new asparagus spears and all of these are as thick as a pencil or thicker, all these asparagus, all of them. Yet, I planted this, I believe, January of this year. So this is not even a year old. It's thick as a pencil or thicker. And it's still producing in October 1st. Fall was September 22nd, I believe. And it's still producing. There's two right there. There's two right there, so let me plant them. One, two still producing and other other crowns are producing as as well but these are more prop uh, a little bit bigger than the rest but this really scratches my head on how this is happening i i uh i use seaweed fertilizer that i make myself and some of these uh, ferns too are about six feet tall already or seven feet tall like this tall one over here so, these are just pumpkins me and my son picked the other day. Um, so I, I don't, I don't get it. Uh, I was told I won't be getting pencil size asparagus spears until my third year of planning. After planning, I won't uh, get huge ferns. I won't. I, um, the last. Uh, time new spears would come up would be in June, July, maybe. I'm in October 1st and I'm still getting production. Still. So, if anybody else is watching and this has happened to you, if you'd like to chime in or message me on what you're doing, how did it happen, or what variety you're growing. But everyone I've spoken to, gardeners, online articles uh, all of them say uh, that really this it stops producing at June that's all they all they say and I went producing July August September and now October so pretty amazing all right everyone just a real head scratcher It has to be the fertilizer I use in the heavy, thick mulching. I mean, this is at least six inches of wood chips underneath this asparagus. I mean, on top of the asparagus. All right, everyone. Happy gardening. Bye.